Hello, I'm David Liesenfeld, pastor at Rock Valley Christian Church. I am so excited that you've decided to keep the Feast of Tabernacles this year. Now, whether it's your first time celebrating the feast or you've been doing it a long time, I thought I'd take this opportunity to give you David's five tips for having a great Feast of Tabernacles. Tip number one, come ready to celebrate. Woohoo! Yeah! yeah. Come ready to have a great time celebrating the great things that God our Father is doing. Think about the fact we have been invited to celebrate with God the things that He is interested in, what He wants to celebrate, and that's to put all of our heart and attention on Him, the work He's doing, the harvest He's bringing in, to be celebrating with Him, having a great time together. So come with a thankful heart wherever you're going to celebrate the feast. Come ready to rejoice. Come ready to worship God. Make it the first thing on your list. It's sure to get your feast off to a great start. Tip number two, make time with God. Don't you love when you go to a party, you've been invited by somebody very important and they're looking for that time of intimacy just between you and them where you kind of go off from the party and just have a little time alone together? Make time for God. He wants you to have time alone with Him at the feast. You have eight days to fit it in. Time alone with God. He's the focus of why we're here. Think about it. When are the times of meeting that you're going to have with God when you're here? Make sure you make time for God. And just having that time of prayer, the time of intimacy, the time of worship, just to have with Him, just you and Him alone. Make that time. That's tip two. All right, tip number three. When you come, have a plan to read the Bible every day. Think about Nehemiah in Nehemiah 8. It says that every day, day by day, during the Feast of Tabernacles, he read from the book of the law. So how about you do it? You alone or with your family that you gather together and just read some of the law. And as you do it, look for God in it. Look for Jesus Christ. Look for his love. Look for his justice, his mercy, his faith, his righteousness. Look for God and be edified by just staring at God, by looking at who He is and worshiping Him as you consider the things that He's written in His Word or maybe even specifically reading out of His law. It's a wonderful opportunity to discover more about God, whether alone or with others in your family. Okay, here's tip number four. When you come, come ready to give and share. Think about what we're doing. We're celebrating a harvest feast where you might have been harvesting in the agrarian days where you would bring forward your apples or your grapes. You would be bringing forth wine or grains or breads or things that you made and things that you harvested that God blessed you with that year. Think of it in the same way that you are gathering together the things that God has blessed you with mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and you're bringing those things here to the feast to celebrate before God and to share these gifts with others in a spirit of thanksgiving and generosity. I assure you, you won't regret coming with the intention of giving to others at this feast. And tip number five, our last one. When you come to the feast, make yourself a committee of one to look all around you to make sure that everyone is engaged, that everyone is being considered. Look around to the stranger, the widow, the orphan, the person who's shy, the person who's new, the person that's outcast. Make yourself a committee of one of hospitality. Show the love, the affection, the care of God. Look at each one and consider others' interests as greater than our own. I assure you, if you take the time to think about the whole community that gathers to celebrate the feast, wherever you are, it will be a much better feast because that culture of love and care, of sharing and generosity, of just giving together, being together, celebrating together will be all over the feast. So these are my five tips. So remember, point number one, come in a heart of thanksgiving, ready to rejoice. Yeah! Woo! Yes! Thank you, God, for all you've done. Come with that heart, ready to celebrate. Two, steal time away with the host. Make time alone for you and God. Three, read from his word and look for his love, his justice, his mercy, his faith and compassion in all that you do. Four, be ready to give and share. Have you brought a talent? Do you have a song? Do you have gifts? Do you have things that you've received from the Lord? Share it with others. And number five, consider everyone around you. Make yourself a committee of one to be hospitable and welcoming to every person 
engage with one another, and rejoice at this feast. I assure you, if you do these five things, if you make the time and are intentional about it, you will never regret the time that you spent doing any of these things, and it will give you a wonderful celebration with God Almighty, with your fellow believers gathering together if you apply these five tips.